All right, welcome to another Founder Update. Uh, this time in my room here in Bali because I need to start packing because uh, I'm heading off to Portugal uh, in, your, in around two days. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be the last uh, Founder Update from Bali. Um, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it was a fun ride. Uh, I wanna, wanna talk a bit about the, the lo looking back on, on the months we spent here and the work we did. Um, as always, I have a couple of notes here, so that's why you see me looking, looking down. Uh, so yeah, um, I think um, in three months we, we accomplished a lot, right? Um, so we launched the platform kind of five months ago. Uh, three months, so we spent two months in Portugal, me and Afonso, and now uh, three months here, kind of three months. And uh, we managed to, if we... <sighs> If we uh, make the key metric for marketplace success, GMV, which, which is the gross merchant value, which is the amount that's processed on the marketplace uh, every single month, um, we achieve the 40k a month uh, GMV, which uh, I think it's, I like to think it's a good, uh, a good achievement, right? Uh, I was a bit down last week, not down, but I was a bit like uh, thinking harder in terms of or thinking deeper, I guess, in terms of business and business business success, and uh, I wasn't sure if this was this was good, right? I wasn't sure if 40k a month was good enough. Uh, I wasn't sure if we we're on the right track in regards to money. Uh, even though we work hard, right? Uh, we can always work harder. So um, I'm in this uh, marketplace uh, for kind of forum, like private group, and I, I asked on there. So what, we're doing 40k a month. Uh, but I feel like maybe we're growing too slow or maybe we're not doing enough. How can we know if we're doing enough, right? And I guess you can never know if you're doing enough because you can always do more, right? Uh, you can always not sleep and work to, 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 you, to you pass out. Um, but um, yeah, I asked if, 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 if uh, based on the time that was, the timeline that was spent, uh, the time that, I spa that, I spa that had passed, sorry, and uh, the money we made or we're making every month, if it was good and uh, yeah, some people replied uh, with actual insights. So basically to conclude is that it is good five months in, uh, but we have to take into account, of course, that the bulk of the money, uh, it is of course much less than half uh, of the money comes from from me, but, but that makes sense, right? Because the marketplace was born in the beginning and its, its main strength was my personal brand around SEO. That's why it grew so fast, I guess. It grew to where it's at right now. It was because of the personal brand I had. Now, the idea is to detach it from me and from my personal brand as much as possible, right? I don't want people to come on, on vetted and just buy from, from me. That's not the goal. And uh, that's what, that, that's not what happened. Sorry, I keep talking, trying to talk too fast and I stumble upon my words. But yeah, that's not what's happening, right? People uh, buy from other people, um, which is good. Uh, yeah, I think we, we did accomplish a lot in the in these three months, and uh, it's it's also 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 part of the reason why I look I record these videos is to look back and from time to time either watch them or just read the read the titles because the titles the titles are like a uh, how do you say it fuck uh, a resume okay I'm missing the word are like a a trailer I guess of of what we did um, so yeah. Um, it's also cool to see, I, I mentioned this in the last video, people uh, coming around to the product, right? People that previously were afraid of supporting us and afraid of joining. And this, this still happens, which sucks, right? Um, it sucks that people that uh, were my friends, or I thought they were, they were, and some of them still are, right? Some of them, some of them in private still message me and talk to me, but they cannot support me in public. Uh, and I don't want to get into the reason why that is because it's it's a whole story which sucks uh, for them and for me. Um, but yeah, it's cool to see that some of those people are coming around. And I think the more we build and the more we prove ourselves and the more we the more people see that okay, these guys these guys are building something real, something serious that has value. And uh, I want to support or I don't want to support. Right? It's, they, they can choose to support or not. Um, that's, I guess, the beauty of a marketplace. You have, you, you, you can create a big connection with the people that are there, that are there, right? You can create a big connection with the suppliers or freelancers or whatever you want to call them. At the end of the day, 
if we're talking from a business standpoint, the marketplace has supply and demand. Uh, so yeah, you, that's the, I guess the beauty of a marketplace is that you get get to enjoy and create relationships with these people. And um, I think that's a, that's an inter interesting part about this business. Um, it's not so much about. I guess I guess it's good that you help people, right? Because at the end of the day, you're building a platform to get people to make money and sell their services. And uh, yeah, it's always good to get people to make people make some money, right? Or give them a platform for them to make money. But I haven't felt like I'm better than anyone, or I'm I'm um, I'm doing something good for the world for having this platform built, right? I'm not doing char charity work or anything. So us being be building Veta for me, at least for now, five months in, I haven't felt the feeling that oh shit we're actually giving opportunity to, opportunity to people and giving them a, a platform for them, for them to make money and change their lives. I haven't felt that yet. Maybe in the future I'll feel it. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm, I don't know where I was going with this, uh, but yeah, that's, that's it in regards to this, I think. Um, let me look at my notes. Um, yeah, we're, we're still, though, we're still the, the little guy in the market, right? We're still the little startup, little little fish in the big pond filled with sharks, right? We're still just trying to prove ourselves, right? We're still still early, right? And I don't want this feeling of thinking that we're still early and we're still just a little small startup to um, make us not want to grow fast. That's not absolutely what I want. I want the exact opposite, right? I want us to grow as fast as possible. But we also have to put our feet down to the earth and um, ground ourselves to, lo to know that, okay, we cannot be comparing ourselves to these giants, right? We're doing good work so far. People like what the product we're building. And um, yeah, so I think to sum all this up, in, in the, mo the months we've been in Bali uh, were great because I, I got to work with Afonso, live with him, constantly be uh, bouncing ideas off of each other, which I guess it's the healthiest environment for when you're building a startup, right? right? Uh, you want to be in constant connection with the, with the other founder, right? It only makes sense. Um, yeah, after Bali, um, I'm going back to Portugal. Uh, Afonso is going to India for a couple of weeks or for one week, I think, and then he's going back to Portugal um, as well. And yeah, yeah, from there, not yet too sure what we're going to do uh, of course, I don't think we're going to live together, to be honest. Um, maybe we get an office, uh, I'm not too sure yet. Maybe we don't even stay in Portugal, right? Maybe if we get, if, if we get some investment on board, we... Um, shit, sorry. We, man, we can go to, I don't know, an incubator somewhere. Um, we've been talking to a couple of investors, and uh, one we talked with uh, liked the idea, loved the idea, loved the vision, what we shared with him, but... Um, he sees the opportunity, right? But he's, he thinks it's too early, right? It's a bit too early, which I do understand. I mean, we're only five months in, so fair enough. Uh, so yeah, but this gives us um, drive, right? Gives us power, gives us um, hype to, to get going and to, and to grow this further and further. Um, yeah. What else? Um, yeah, just like I talked about in the previous video, we want to tailor the platform to more, more SEO tailored, because right now, there isn't much much of a difference in, re in regards to what we are. Our technology right now is a marketplace technology, which is not that valuable, right? Anyone can build a marketplace. The hard part of building, mar um, building a marketplace, of course, is building the, the flywheel that allows you to have a buyer and seller, basically allows you to have the supply and the demand, because the technology has, uh, in, it of, in it of itself, it's not easy, but anyone can do it, right? And so the goal now is to m build technology on top of the marketplace that is SEO tailored. And that's where we're gonna differ from any other marketplace. Of course, we can say we're different because we're SEO tailored and we vet the people or whatever, but we wanna go one step further. So uh, that's where that technology is gonna be built. And um, yeah, what else? Um, nine minutes in, yeah. I guess I guess that's, that's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, pretty boring update. Um, you guys get to to see how I'm feeling. I guess I'm a bit tired because it's Friday. Uh, we spent a whole week work, working. This week was not too much 
work in regards to feature development was more of a ideas and brainstorming, not ideas and brainstorming, but try to try to figure out what, what the next steps are going to be. Um, right, we're also building this new tailored solution. I guess I'm not sure if I should speak about these things here because they're because they're a bit too technical, right? And I don't want these videos to become product updates. These should be like founder updates. So it looks like how I'm feeling, what I've done, what, I, what we're doing, the mindset. Um, yeah, I guess that's basically it. I, I guess I'll I'll make the video next week a bit more interesting. Uh, these are kind of sucking lately, to be honest. I don't I don't give much value in this. I just like use this as a diary, to be honest. I should prepare better. I guess I say this every single week, but I should prepare better for these. And uh, yeah, I guess, uh, what else can I say? I'm excited to go back to Portugal, um, hit the gym again, because here I was not going, I, I mean, I did a month of gym or maybe 15 days of gym. And uh, I'm excited to go back because I'm very slim. Uh, so I need to get back in shape again. I was surfing and all that, but uh, surfing doesn't get you uh, muscles, right? It's just fun. Uh, which I guess I can end with that. Uh, if you ever want to build a startup and um, want to go to a place where you can reconcile uh, or conciliate, sorry, building the startup in a healthy place while also connecting to with like-minded people, uh, which there's a bunch of here in Bali, and uh, also surf or whatever, Bali is the way to go. Um, it's good that we're going back to Lisbon because Lisbon is becoming, if not right now, the number one uh, Okay, not it is the number one capital for digit, digital nomads, but it is, it is becoming a, a, a European, the number one European tech hub, which is great if you're an entrepreneur, right? Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have Web Summit uh, hosted there, I think in November. My opinion about Web Summit is that it sucks, not really that good, but uh, the fact that it is there and that Portugal is trying to grow this entrepreneur entrepreneurial scene in Lisbon makes it so it's, it attracts um, a lot of tech guys, a lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs. Also, if you're not Portuguese, if you're a foreign, foreign person, you can you come to Portugal, you have a bunch of incentives. Uh, so Portugal is re really pushing to build this uh, a, a culture around this, which is great. So I, that's another reason why I want to go back to Lisbon, because, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You've watched this uh, for a year. These haven't been going out for a year, but you've watched it. You've watched this from the start. Uh, we're at 40k a month. I remember when I posted the video saying we did uh, 1k or whatever, so now we're at 40k. It's cool to look back. It's cool to look back, but it's even cooler to look forward and to look at the future and what's coming. Uh, so yeah, I'll shut up right now and I'll see you next week in Portugal. Probably in my parents' basement just like before, but yeah, we'll see about that. Cheers.